Well, this summer, some of your favorite must-read books are becoming must-see movies, courtesy of Lifetime. Yeah, that includes Family Pictures, starring Justina Machado and Elizabeth Rome as two women living very different lives with one particular thing in common. Watch this. Welcome to the country club. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. be the favorite wife. I no. know. Oh, no. <laughs> he doesn't yes, deserve now. a favorite wife. <laughs> yeah, no. no. He does not. So welcome back, ladies, both Thank of you. you. It's so nice to have you here. We love this movie. Yes. You know, it pulls you right in from the minute you start watching yeah. it. You know, Justina, we know you for your, your upbeat, your, your comedic roles. What was it like diving into this drama? Well, I mean, it was great. I was great to f be able to flex that muscle again. You know, yeah. but I do come from the drama world. Yeah, you know, yeah. Six Feet Under, yeah. all Queen of the South, all of those shows. So but we had some great comedic we moments. Had, yes. yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. You know, there has together. to be comedy, and right? Because yeah. otherwise, otherwise it's it. just a it's a it's a crying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. exactly. Yeah. But no, it was but fun. It was so much fun. Yeah. yeah, especially these two women sort of reinventing themselves and finding their inner strength and and like you said when we were talking before which is you know these women really find each other they find friendship it's a love story for the two of yeah. the, these two women and so true to lifetime it's totally female empowerment yeah, yes yeah. yes yeah, what was it like, um, I would think, like, when did you find out what this story was all about? We were talking about, you know, early on they let you know that, you know, basically you, your characters are sharing a husband. But at what point did you all find all of this out before you signed on? Because have you read the book or... Well, we had read the screenplay, yes. and we're, we're fans of Jane Green, but no, we hadn't I, read I didn't read the book. book. I didn't read the book, but, uh, but we knew kind of right away. I think what was interesting, really, for me, was playing a character that I've never really played before, right. which is like a person who gardens. <laughs> A person that I was like, well, what do I do with these things? You know what I mean? Yeah, it's nice to say that I've never played somebody who's not nice. But yeah, that's yeah. not true. Um, no, but it was for me also a different challenge because yeah. I I don't really do comedy, and for me there's so much she's very and funny. so much comedy in this yes. movie yeah. because she's really over the top until she has to become grounded right. and more authentic, which. Uh, happens through this friendship yeah yes. Yes. we're losing everything you know but like you said before you know lifetime is really good at this is the the female empowerment thing and it's and it really becomes about women supporting women which I think is so relevant today Absolutely. Yeah, yes. it could have gone another way with this yes. relationship between your character well that was a decision we both made because the script could have allowed it to go uh, uh, you know whatever way you wanted yeah. it to but we together felt you know this is an opportunity for women to find their strength together to discover their reinvention together yes. and to become a better version of themselves by hitting rock bottom because yeah. that's ultimately what all of us yeah. are looking for is how to be the best versions of ourselves. Right. But and I wouldn't have done it. I wouldn't have taken the role if it were that. If it were the stereotypical these yeah. two women against each other and he gets off scots free, you know. Yeah. I, there there's a bigger message, there's a deeper message in this movie and that's why I know I was attracted to it because of that. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I love that. And I have to say you all's chemistry here, you know, in the movie, there's great chemistry. Have you all worked? We're doing a reboot all? of Laverne and Shirley. <laughs> that has to happen. Shula Neal, Shula Neal. I love that. <laughs> Incorporated. What you all? Have you worked together? I just before? aged myself. <laughs> you aged us reruns, all. reruns. Reruns. I mean, you all sang it. That's yeah, right, true. right. I was we trying not to sing it. <laughs> We, so we never did, but we actually both worked on Jane the Virgin. Yes. Uh, on separate, oh, and wow. once we were in the makeup trailer together, but you know, it's so intense and but it really, people are. Again, it could know. have gone either way. Yeah. We were really lucky. Yeah. And we immediately felt yeah. that the other person was awesome. Exactly. And then we had dinner, we had a date. We felt out the date that after work it became our thing when we yeah. finished shooting that we'd have our, our recap. Our yes. I love that. Yes. 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 It was so, so great. It was yeah. great. We shot this in Vancouver and, yeah. and I mean, beautiful city, but also so incredible to be there with somebody that you're working with and you yeah. really like. Yeah. yeah. Well, oh, you can nice. feel it on screen too. Thank so you. thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you. Can you. Catch <laughs> family pictures this Saturday, June 29th at 8 p.m. on Lifetime. Thanks. Thank, <laughs> thank, thank you, ladies. ladies.